Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. This is just a little bonus vlog for you. Um, I have got a bit of a cleaning and organising day in the flat today. And although we still haven't got much furniture and it's still nowhere near even on the way to where I want it to look and where I want it to be, I just thought that I would give you a little day in the life vlog of how I clean and how I organize and just kind of like how things are running here at the minute. So today's Friday, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside and um, we've had a lot of deliveries in the last few days this week and I've got a lot of boxes to get rid of and recycle. Um, we've also had a few appliances arrive like our Hoover, we've had a little spray mop, um, just loads of cleaning bits and bobs and things to organize. So. Yeah, I thought I would just give you a bit of like a tidying, organizing vlog today. So I won't make this intro too long. Um, let's get into the day. So I just kind of want to give you some tips in this video and just show you how I go about these days. First thing I always do is put on something interesting on the TV or like a podcast or something. I am actually currently watching Steve Bartlett's YouTube. I'm obsessed with him. The Diary of a CEO. I just literally let the episodes play through. Even if I'm not really sure who the person is, I still just watch it. I just think they're so interesting. And yeah, I love them. So I've just watched Patricia Bright and Jack Maynard this morning, which were so interesting. So that's the first thing I would recommend doing. Okay, so this is my first job of the day. This is literally just all of the deliveries that have come this week. Um, we've had like the bedside tables, we've had just much everything so I need to get all of this into here and start packing it down um, I've just started bringing in some boxes I want to pack this all down and just make it a lot more manageable for me to take down stairs cleared all the rubbish and I've just popped it outside the door in the corridor so this is all clear thank god this is actually going back um I bought some lights that I thought were going to be perfect they're actually lamps um but unfortunately on the online um listing it didn't say that they were pink and this marble base is like pale pink and yeah, I just really don't like them. So they are going to be returned. I'm gonna have to arrange that today and then hopefully they can come and collect it next week. So I might just pop this in the spare room for now, which is still looking a bit of a mess. I'm gonna try and sort this out today and get this room emptied as much as I can. I'm still waiting for um, a chest of drawers to put like all my work bits in. Um, and then that's the washing that we need to do because our washing machine hasn't arrived yet And this is all of our coats which I still need to hang up because we're waiting to get a rail To hang those up in the cupboard by the door And this is just all of our new bits for the hoover because we got a new hoover Jack actually treated us to a Dyson which I'm so excited about because I've wanted a Dyson for so long you know you're getting old when you get excited about hoovers and like linen cupboards. This is basically our boiler cupboard which is where I'm going to keep all of our linens for this will be the spare bedroom. So all the linens for the spare bedroom, extra towels, like hot water bottles, everything like that will be in here. And then up here we've just got a little bit of storage. Another thing I always like to do when I'm having a cleaning day is open the window and just let in some nice fresh air, especially when it's on a gorgeous day like today, just let in some fresh air, air out the place while I'm hoovering and stuff like that, especially because it gets quite dusty in here. Look at that view, oh my goodness. I just feel so lucky when I look at this view and I feel like I'm living in a treehouse. honestly. It's just unbelievable. 
I'm in the bedroom. I just want to show you something that Jack installed and it's from Amazon so I will link it below. I'll try and link everything that I show you in this video below but um, yeah it's really cool. So we he actually had these in his bedroom at his mum and dad's house in his cupboard and they were so useful. So he's installed these lights and um, they basically are like stick on lights. Obviously we are renting um so you can take these off they don't take off the paintwork or anything and they just go around the inside of the whole entire door and they just shine into the cupboard and honestly when i tell you these are so bright um i just think they're incredible and they're actually on a sensor <clears throat> so here is the sensor here you can turn them on and off manually but we wanted them as a motion sensor so if i shut the door and wait till they go off i'll show you Okay, I think the lights have gone off. So as I open the door, you can see no lights. And then the lights come on. As you kind of like walk into the cupboard here, this sensor picks them up. They're just brilliant. I'll link them down below. They're so cool. Um, I think they're actually in here. Yeah. This is what they look like. They're just so fab. And you just get this massive roll. You can cut it. Um really cool we've got them in our bathroom as well so when it's dark at night and you want to go into the bathroom i always get up in the night um or early in the morning when it's dark you don't have to worry about turning the big light on and being like ah um as you walk in the room the sensor comes off and it just is underneath the ledge which i just think is so good um and it just makes it feel a little bit more luxurious a little bit more hotel vibes that's kind of what me and jack love and always try to instill in our life so i'm in the bedroom let me shut the wardrobe the wardrobe's pretty much all organized i just need to sort it out a little bit um but everything's been put away our mattress still hasn't arrived i just can't believe it still hasn't arrived um it's coming tomorrow so it's scheduled to come tomorrow so i will update you in the weekly vlog when it comes and how it looks on the bed and everything but i've just put the bedding on the bed for the first time to see how it looks in the room with the new lamps and everything and i absolutely love it okay so this is how it's looking obviously there's no mattress so the cushions will be like up to here when um we've actually got the mattress on but I just love how this looks. I really wanted this room to feel super light and airy. Um, quite like California vibes. I want to get a couple more darker pieces in here. Um, ideally, I wouldn't have this grey carpet. I would have like a hardwood or I would have a lighter carpet like this colour. Uh, but, you know, it's a rental so it's not the end of the world. We are actually switching out the curtains. I think they're going to come tomorrow, hopefully. So we're going to switch those out for a much lighter one to match the bed. So it's going to feel super light and airy in here. These lamps are gorgeous. They're from Zara Home. I'll link them below. They've got like a cement base. I don't know if you can see the texture on it. I just love the mix of the clean wood with the um, textured cement and then the linen lampshades. I wasn't 100% sure about the lampshades at first um i wasn't sure if they looked too purple but actually i love them i think it's so nice to have a mix of lighter shades with that dark and this kind of color palette in the screen right now is just what i love so yeah i'm really pleased with them i actually also love this darker um draw knob as well i was actually thinking about changing these for a lighter or a gold which i still might possibly change them for a gold i'm not 100 percent sure yet but um, I do like the idea of having the darker accents in this room. So I think that will stay. But just look how gorgeous that looks. And I've just popped my white company blanket on the end. But I think I'm going to switch this out for um, something that matches these as well. And then in the summer we can have it just all white and light. And then in the winter we can add in these kind of like darker elements. But yeah, that is kind of how this room is looking so far. Um, this side still needs quite a lot of work. Um, I think we're going to put a armchair in the corner over there. Some sort of like cream, boucle vibe. I'd like to get a little bit more wood in here so it feels a bit more um, kind of rustic. Uh, so yeah, an armchair over there. And then I'm thinking we might get a radiator cover just to go along here. Uh, just to elongate this section a bit. And then we'll have a little ledge on top that we can possibly put our TV, if we get a TV in here. I think we probably will, but we're not 100% sure yet. Um, because this radiator is a bit of an eyesore, 
and I don't love it, so um, it'd be nice to cover that up. Right, I've just hoovered all the carpets. Oh my goodness, this hoover is incredible. Um, can you see how it's created this like effect in the carpet? Oh my god, I am so impressed with that. I didn't know if like the Dyson was a bit of a gimmick. Um, but wow. Also, I've literally cleaned all of these carpets and look at this. I've just cleaned, I've just hoovered the hallway and the bedroom. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> this room, honestly, I've just um, moved the curtains over because I wanted to see how much light came in and look at that. I just can't believe this is our bedroom. It's so perfect and I can't wait to change the curtains, get a nice little chair in here. Oh, it's just gonna look amazing. Um, and obviously, get the mattress as well. <laughs> This is the um, surface spray that I use. It smells amazing. This bottle lasts forever and I just love it. I also use this to mop the floors because it's an anti-back. So if you're wearing your shoes and stuff, it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And it's also plant-based, which is quite interesting. So I'm just gonna spray all the surfaces and then wipe them over. I've cleaned all the surfaces. I'm gonna grab my candle wick cutter and I'm just gonna trim all of my candles because I I love burning candles. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll literally see that I burn candles all the time. Um, oh, I just love them. They make me feel so calming and yeah they just make like your space smell really nice so you need to make sure you take good care of your candles if you find that your candles are like burning and smoking for example this one has gone a little bit black that's because i didn't cut the wick this morning so um it's kind of started to smoke a little bit so always make sure that you cut your wicks i have just hoovered all in here and I'm just going to mop using my new mop. This is from Amazon and it's a spray mop. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's so cheap, I'll link it below. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So all you do is pull this little thing here and then, you can you see that? It sprays out and then you can just mop over. Honestly, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if I'm literally turning into a housewife, but I'm very much here for it. vlog um i'm super shiny i'm also super exhausted it's 3 30 and i've been up cleaning since six this morning um so i'm ready for a nice chilled afternoon on the sofa i'm actually gonna do a little bit of furniture shopping 
for the rest of this room as you can hear it's very echoey in here we don't really have a whole lot of furniture so i'm gonna have a browse online and see if i can find some other pieces but i will update you with all of that in the next vlog so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed please do i would be very grateful and i will see you in my next one bye